You've probably heard about the new Wish.com site, Temu. A lot of people have been seeing ads about this. I'm starting to see YouTube videos crop up. I really wanted to see what the hype was all about because their prices are like garbage cheap. So might as well just dive right in and see what Temu actually has to offer, right? Now before we go through each one of these items, I do want to disclose one thing. I am an affiliate there. I signed up because it was luckily a good offer. Might as well try it out, right? Give it a look. If these items actually turn out pretty good, you should try them out. I'm not gonna hype these up. If they suck, they suck. First up is a cable management system. This cost me $2. Basically, you can put all your cables in here and manage them as you need to. So if you have something like this, it's not gonna fit all the biggest cables in the world. Okay, not that one. Either. You can throw it in here. Any smaller cables that you can have across the row here. Charging bricks. Any other little trinkets, maybe switches or other tools you use on a daily basis you can throw in here so not too bad i'm going to show some b-roll of this this is actually pretty nice it's really good for the price i love how it just says storage on it that's pretty funny um but for two bucks not a bad deal so i ended up storing a bunch of small cables in this container and it's been really helpful for me to keep things organized but i wish i had more storage so this thing should be bigger and come in a pack so i could just shove them all in one cube in my room Next up is a mug warmer pad. Now I'm gonna have to cut this film here after I open this and test it out over the next few days. My wife never drinks her coffee on time. It always goes cold and she drinks half of it every day. So I got this for about $6 on their site. It's supposed to keep your coffee actually warm so you don't miss out. Uh, you just plug it in to an outlet and you're good to go. Put on the temperature you wanna have. So one light is 122 degrees Fahrenheit, two lights is 131, and three lights is 140. This is actually really high quality. I'm very impressed with this. Of course, I'm worried about safety concerns about this overall. So it should work just fine. Give this a few days, test this out, see how it goes. First impressions, good quality, well made. Yeah, so this didn't actually work. I was actually able to put my hand on it, no problem, without getting burned. So it never really got hot enough to do anything to heat my mug up. So if you want to get a high quality one of these, maybe look on Amazon and stay away from Tempe. Next up is a desk mat. The packaging isn't that great. Smell? It has a little bit of smell to it, not too bad. Oh, why does this look so tiny? Because it is tiny. This is not... Okay, well, scam number one. <laughs> this thing is super small and the artwork is not like the picture whatsoever. I'm gonna double check the listing here. I'm gonna put it right in front of the screen. So if I'm off base, I will know. And if I'm not off base, then I definitely a loss. So that's unfortunate. All right, next up. You've probably seen a lot of popularity with uh, under desk trays. I found this tray for about I think it was six dollars you can slide it in and out and you can have it and it comes with an adhesive to put on there as well and you can store all sorts of stuff in here you've seen these on amazon they actually go for about fifteen dollars so the fact that this was such a good deal pretty decently made perfectly enough to have underneath your desk right nothing fancy is a really good steal so good deal on this i'm going to test it out we're going to put it on the desk I'm gonna cut right here for that. This was super easy to install, came on the desk just fine. The sliding in and out was a little wobbly at first, but it's still working great to this day and has no issues. So this was an excellent find for the price. Next up is this adapter. It's uh, dented, okay. This is an adapter for iPhone so that I can actually monitor my video while I'm recording because I can never see what I'm actually seeing on my phone, which makes me always a little nervous. But essentially you plug this into your iPhone and that lets you have an HDMI connection in it. So you can have HDMI connection and you can have USB-C to charge this thing while you're using it. So it should be great for all your connections. The quality doesn't look great on this actually. It looks pretty cheap and uh, they like copied Apple pretty well, but we're gonna see if this actually works. So yeah, it worked just fine. You plug it in, mirrors your phone. I've actually put this on the TV before. I did have one slight issue with it though. The audio did not come clearly. It was breaking up and choppy the entire time. Could have been the video I was having on it, but it did have some weird suspicious kind of behavior. However, it did the trick for videos just fine, no latency, and looked just fine. It's just that extra caveat of having to plug in the cable to the power cord with the adapter and then it works. Next up, so I'm constantly losing my AirPods, constantly. I found this beam, did it? Did this break? I found this Bemo one because I'm a huge Adventure Time fan. The design's cute. It fits AirPods first generation, which I use, and it has this cute little keychain I can hook on to things, right? Let's see if they actually work. Yes. 
Yes. So it's not that great. There is a gap on the back, which means you could, well, well they grip on pretty well. So, <laughs> hey, you know what though? I actually love this. This is perfect. This is exactly what I expected out of it. This is great. Even though there's a little gap, that doesn't bother me at all. I, I, they're sturdy. I'm not gonna lose these. If I drop them, I'm not gonna cry. Like this is perfect. This is exactly what I needed. It has a texture to it. Oh, 10 out of 10. This was so cheap. This is a 10 out of 10 product right here. They have different styles and different looks for this too. Absolutely buy this tomorrow. And of course this little keychain guy, if you wanna hook it to your backpack or you have it like on a purse, whatever floats your boat, right? You can have this hooked up as well. I still use this to this day. My kids love it, I love it. It makes my headphones way more enjoyable to have. The only thing is the string on the little keychain did break off, so don't rely on that too heavily. Next up, we have this chopstick holder. I've been actually begging for these as a gift for a while. Never got them, but these were like really like a dollar. These are chopsticks. These are actually, oh, those are, are not the best quality and they don't really close that well. I would think an Amazon set would be better than this, um, but what we're supposed to do basically, play your games, doesn't seem, are my fingers just fat? Is it just a me problem? Play your games, right? Mouse, keyboard, controller, whatever it may be. Grab your food and eat it. These are very low quality. Like no wonder these are 99 cents and they're pretty garbage, but I wonder what the ones on Amazon are like, but these are really, these were a dollar. So basically dollar store find, right? For something that's kind of tech viral, I guess you could say. But I always wanted this because eating chips and gaming are my thing. So while the quality of these chopsticks weren't the best, I'm not sure if Amazon would do much better, but I'd love to compare it someday. Maybe I'll pick one up for you guys. I used this to eat popcorn, gaming with, had it on my desk for a little bit, put it through the dishwasher, top rack only, but otherwise it's been working just fine. So a pretty decent find. Last up, we have this keycap. It's the style of an old Mac, and this is really pretty. So we're gonna see what this looks like actually on a keyboard. Uh, is this the right size? Wait, this doesn't actually look like the ad at all. So there's, okay, oh, I see. So here's the keycap. That's the keycap there, and this is a Game Boy style, and you can actually swap it out. So it has a little stand, and if you wanna like take this off, you can put on different ones. So you can have a calculator. Wow, I really like that, calculator. You can have a little Mac style. I really am a fan of this. So of course, I'm gonna go with the Game Boy style here, because that's my thing. And let's pull up a keyboard I just built that you can see in a different video if you like. We're gonna see if you can put this in the escape button here. Now it's supposed to light up with this little Mac smiley face, but that looks like a sticker. Oh, they're little stickers. Okay, so it does have little stickers here. This off, take one of the little stickers, including a little baggie. Let's see, I'm gonna grab the little game sign here. Go, put all these little guys back. Wait, these aren't even stickers, they're just little slips. This is perfect. So you just take this little game part on it, put this on there, so. Throw the cover back on, plop it into the escape key. Look at that, I love that. I'm a huge fan of that. This is, this is lovely. And it even has a little stand for it too when you're not using it. That's fantastic. I really like that. That was a good deal. What a score, what a score. What an artisan little keycap on there and it lights up when you're playing. That's fantastic. That's an absolute steal, good deal. If you liked what you saw here today, you can check out the items in the description down below of this video. If you wanna see me do more unboxings from Temu and maybe look at some tech stuff that I haven't really seen yet, drop a comment down below. Let me know what I should check out. I think there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of scams. You have to be really careful about what you're getting, but there's still lots of potential. Thanks for watching Lucky Strike Tech, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.